Welcome back to the channel guys. So you guys want to know how I made those batteries at the beginning of at the thumbnail basically. I uh, converted from 3S to 4S. So I'm going to show you what I did. I'm not advocating you do this at all because it is actually dangerous. However, follow my instructions, be careful and you should be fine. So let's have a look at what we actually need before we can go ahead and do this. In order to do this battery conversion, you're going to need the following things. First of all, you're going to need an iron, soldering iron that is called actually. Um, a safe location, well I decided to do this where I'm surrounded by bricks and stuff like that, so in case something does go wrong, you're not going to blow anything up. Uh, and let's go through the actual stuff that we need. We're going to need lead free solder, because on the batteries you have uh, aluminium tabs and they're very difficult to solder onto and the standard solder you have for your uh, ESCs and all that stuff it probably won't work. You also need this aluminium flux which is what was going to make it all bind. You have to have this, this is going to be very very necessary. Wire strippers, wire cutters, masking tape because you're going to need to um, insulate the terminals so easy to short them out and of course if you do that that's what's going to cause an issue um, scissors you're going to need balancing leads in my case they're for four, uh, 4s balancing leads and of course safety some safety goggles you just never know these things do go push every now and then so you might need that um, I have also got some masks there just in case but also, of course, the batteries themselves. So I'm going to be doing three of these and one of those. And you'll see what's, what's like at the end of it. Um, in order for you to open up the batteries, you're going to have to remove the shrinking. And do this with a scissors, but be very careful you don't punch at the actual cells themselves. They are generally glued together. So glued uh, double-sided sticky tape on there so make sure that you use like a credit card or something like that to kind of go between them so that you can split the cells like so so if you have minus voltages that means that you have to reverse the polarity so in here when I touch red here and all like so remember one is going to be positive one is going to be negative use your multimeter to double check on this you're going to have to pull them apart they generally are stuck together so you might actually have to just cut them so be very careful when you do that this battery now <laughs> gently of course guys being very careful you keep things out of the way
here we go positive two negative now we're gonna put that on this one here and a balance lead but we're not going to use these balance leads we're going to use the four-way balance leads Right, technical issues there we unfortunately the battery on the GoPro went dead but I just wanted to show you guys really quickly how you double check that you got the right the number of cells and so on and so forth my boss here is helping me out of course check here first they'll probably give you a total which is currently at 15 volts that indicates you got a four cell battery already However, you want to double check that you got the right number of cells and they are being registered. Of course, red with red, that gives you 3 volts, which is 1 cell. Move one along, that's 7 volts, that's 2S. Another one along, that's 11 volts, 3S. And the last 15 volts, which is what we registered on the main big lead. Okay? That should mean that you got it all wired up correctly. So now it's just a cosmetic work. Just roll some tape, heat shrink, and I'll show you guys what it looks like at the very end. So heat shrink the batteries now with some of this stuff you can buy from eBay. Read the instructions because it's so easy to get this wrong. I got it wrong several times. But here we go. So now this is the Graphite 1.3 um, 1500 milli hour, 1300 milli hour amp battery that comes originally from Graphite. It was about 25 quid. And these are the ones I've made today. As you can see, they're virtually identical in terms of size. And uh, I'll post on the comments weight and general feeling from them. But I think it's going to be the same, to be fair. So don't do it if you don't have to. Of course, always go out and buy a brand new one if you can. I just didn't want to waste my money on 3S batteries to sit there not doing anything. I thought, hey, just do it. But it is dangerous, it can go wrong very easily. So, look after yourself, take safe precautions. Catch you the next one.